Hey there, my name is Q. This is episode 269 of The Blue Box. In episode 268, I discussed Dr. Nassim Harriman's science with regards to black holes and how actually every single star in our universe is a black hole. In this episode, I want to extend a little bit on what I discussed with regards to Dr. Nassim Harriman. First of all, Dr. Harriman is an amazing scientist, an amazing researcher, and I believe his work is going to change the way in which the majority of the world perceive reality. We are living in times where there are new scientific models being released, and these scientific models make more sense with regards to understanding our universe than all the other scientific models we have been taught. Just to give you an example, the Darwinian theory of evolution is almost non-existent with all the new science coming out. Going back to Dr. Nassim Harriman, well, Dr. Nassim Harriman states that the energy from the sun is too intense for the sun to be made of gases, and so the only explanation for this is that the sun must be a wormhole or a black hole that absorbs energy and then regenerates or re-radiates that energy back out as sunlight. Apparently, this is also the same with atoms and everything else we see in our universe. And so the atoms in your body are uh, black holes as well, which means that these atoms are wormholes and that they are absorbing energy. This would explain things like theories to do with the holographic universe or that the world we live in or our reality is an illusion. It would also seem to touch base on the science of fractals. And we can begin to see if we can incorporate sacred geometry in such things. Thank you for checking into episode 269 of The Blue Box. My name is Q. I hope to see you on the next video.